are not normal. Yeah, yeah. no, they, they are not normal. Their mouth involves not normal. Yeah, you know. But I can't come here and not look at uh, how we have allowed religion or Christianity to sort of get out of control and take its own form and become something else. And I was saying that if Jesus came today, you took him to a church, you probably wouldn't know yeah. what was happening there. Yeah. And you know, you probably have to swear to him that I swear to you, this is, <laughs> this, a this is a church. <laughs> uh, I swear to you, this, this is a church. Yeah. I mean, are you concerned? Oh, actually, I, I, I started a crusade like this long, long ago, probably a little baby. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about this in the mid nineties mm. that you guys you should watch how the misapplication of religion is affecting your psyche. Mm. And please. And that was back then, you know, and it's only gotten worse since then. The the one of the most painful experiences I saw was one time I went to Cape Coast, I was I was giving a talk there or someplace. Somebody told me that oh they were having some church service before my symposia, or if I can accompany them to the church. So we went there, and um, as part of the service, the pastor asked for uh, money donations, you know. But check this out. I saw, I saw money donations, and that's the simplest thing. He said that if you want to really benefit from the donation you are giving, you know, come and give the donation as if you are angry. Run! Run and bring the, come and put your money in, and come and see people. <laughs> They run! And I was sitting there, I'm like, my goodness. My goodness. What level of brainwashing? So I mean, I call those pastors weapons of mass destruction because they are followed by many people and they believe what they say. And so that very part that they have of the people and the fact that they are not using their platform to really educate them, it's destroying them. So I call them weapons of mass destruction. Mm -hmm. Can you believe? You have a, a church service and today we are doing a, a service for those who are not employed. And so the place is full up all night. And then they tell them, Hui, Juma, rise up and claim your job. Hui, hui, hui. And they are jumping. University students claiming their job from heaven. Masa, have you, do you have a CV? Do you know how it takes to sit down and construct an intelligent job interview to get a job? No. Why? Well, I'll go, and jump, I'll go, go for it and jump for it. Said, so these, these things worry me. Mm. You know, and I've, I, I said it for, I think for about 10 years, that was like, uh, 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 what do you call that thing? Obsession. Mm.